Hello and welcome to DBTV. I'm your host once again, Connor Mills from Connor's Corner, and we have a great show for you this week. First up, it's crunch time with Evan Gundell and Matt Cunningham as they rapid fire questions to Matt Colonia and see if he could beat Kemi Pokey's record of 20 questions. Then, we travel into the video game world and we see what Ellis is up to. After that, it's what's in the box with Ann Bill and Sarah Bobrowski as we see what's in that box. Finally, it's Men vs. Delval with Ryan Matthews, Dan Levinson, Derek Kugelman taking on the library. So, let's get to it. Let's go to the refs. Hey Delval, welcome back to Crunch Time. I'm Matt Cunningham, that's Evan and Dale. I'm here with wrestler Matt Cullen. We're going to rapid fire as many questions as we can in 60 seconds. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Three, two, one, go. How long have you been wrestling for? Since first grade. What's your favorite move? Uh, double leg. What weight do you wrestle at? 132. Have you ever RKO'd someone? Uh, yes. Do you think you'll ever hit the 100 win mark? Uh, I hope so. Do you watch wrestling in your spare time? Yes, all the time. What are wrestling practices usually like? Uh, very intense, very hot. Who's your favorite teammate? Um, uh, myself. How many days per week do you practice? <laughs> uh, seven. What's your individual record this year? Uh, 22 and four. What's the team's record this year? 14 and four. What's your celebration after you win? Um, handshake with fits. Do you ever bite people during matches? No, I've never done that. How did Gold Rush go this year? Uh, a little disappointing, but we wrestled well. What's your pump-up song before matches? Uh, uh, High Tiger. Who's your favorite professional wrestler? <laughs> I don't have one. Do you plan on wrestling after high school? Yes, in college. Could you beat Mr. England in a wrestling match? Definitely not. <laughs> and that's time. Well, Matt, I'm sorry to say you did not beat Cami Poggi's record of 20 questions, but you tied Joe Donnelly with 18. All right, it's good enough for me. Well, Delval, I'm Evan Adele. That's Matt Cunningham. See you next time. Matt, you just came so close to being a record. That's why you get her next time. Now let's go to the video game world and we see what Ellis is up to. Val, Ella Stanton here, and this week on What's Ellis Up To, I'll be taking on Game Night, sponsored by the TSA. I'll be playing Super Smash Brothers and Mario Kart. Let's take a look. Alright Delval, this is the moment of truth to see whether or not I beat Colin in Smash Bros. Where, how do I play? How do I, what the, what the, what but, how do I, this is not working. Kirby is gonna win this, Kirby's gonna win this. Whoa, how did I? I mean, it was really close. Um, I almost got him, um, but you know, A for effort. Good game, good game. Dan Bear here. We're at the TSA game, and this is the final in Super Smash Bros. On the right, Ryan LaCourt. On the left, Aaron LePay. They're going at it. The game is getting intense. This is nothing like the Tundra. Where is Ryan Grills when I need him? It is quiet. Too quiet. 
Oh, oh no. Fox has pulled it off. Fox has won the match. Ladies and gentlemen, your Super Smash Bros. champion, Aaron LaPay. We are here. Aaron LaPay, your champion of Super Smash Bros. Be honest with me, you were the freshman coming into this tournament against many upperclassmen. What was your mind process, the whole thoughts going through your head as you climbed your way to the top of the winner's bracket? <laughs> well, um, me and Ryan, um, I, when I came into high school, I, I found my way into the Smash scene, and me and Ryan, we, we've been friends. He told me like I wouldn't be able to beat him, so I, I, I practiced really hard. I put my mind to it, and the results show. Now, Aaron, before we sum it up one more time, next year at TSA Game Day, will you be here to defend your title? The champion stays, and the new champion is here, so I'm ready. And any of you out there, I'll be here. I'm here with Mr. Murphy. Mr. Murphy, how's it going in there? It's going pretty swell, Alice. Oh, man, it's bananas in there. Kids are going crazy off the walls. Everyone's having a good time. That's what matters. So you're the runner of TSA. How's that going for you? Pretty good. Um, we just started about two years ago, at the beginning of two years ago. So uh, the fact that we've maybe doubled, maybe even tripled in membership in that amount of time is pretty amazing. People are getting into it. Do you have any upcoming events? Well, funny you should ask. Uh, come March 14th, 3.14, is uh, our annual, soon-to-be annual, uh, Pi Day fundraiser, where students can pay five bucks, and every five bucks accumulated is one pie into the voted teacher's face. It, it was a success last year. I'm imagining it's going to be pretty great this year, too. All right. You heard it from Mr. Murphy. If you want to see your teacher's face get pied, hit him up on Pi Day. <laughs> And that's what Alice has been up to. Now let's find out what's in that box. That feels like like salmon eggs, man. But it's not. I don't know. Smashed up lifesaver yellow joint. Corn. <laughs> Put your hand in the box and guess what it is. Yes. It's like little wet pebbles. <laughs> and I'm betting that's what it is. Nope, it's corn. <laughs> Put your hand in the box and guess what it is. It's corn. Yep. Oh, it's All right, put your hand in the box and guess what it is. It's pomegranate. Nope. Corn. Yes, it is corn. Okay, stick your hand in the box and guess what it is. Is it berries? Nope. Ew, <laughs> it's corn. Corn. You're going to put your hand in the box and you're going to have to guess what it is. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Welcome back to Man vs. Del Val. We're back and better than ever. I'm Dan Bear. And I'm Ryan Grills. In today's expedition, we'll be discovering the uncharted train of... The, the library. library. We're ready. We're ready. Move in. What? We've never been in here before. What is this? There's books everywhere. Wait, is it safe? Oh my god. Do you see this? Sally, the keeper of the books of the library. Oh no. We will ask her how to survive the media center right now. Sal, Miss Sally, how do we survive the library? Well, I don't have many rules, but they're in place for a reason. My number one rule, don't eat in the library. It's a very personal reason. I have very severe food allergies. And instead of just saying that you can't eat certain foods, I just don't want any of them in here at all. So my second tip is just be quiet and respectful in the library. Oh, crikey, watch out for that one. Did you not hear what she had to say? Really? So what I was saying was being quiet and respectful in the library. There are students that are usually up here from study hall or in from lunch and they're trying to get work done or some reading for class um, or just some free reading of their own and they're looking to have a quiet space and this is really what the library is offering. And my last big rule is use the library for the right reasons. Obviously you see students up here who are reading and doing their homework, working on assignments, um, but you know it's not appropriate to come up with a deck of cards and be playing a card game. So what did you guys notice when you walked into the library? I saw a lot of books. I also saw lots and lots of books. We do have lots and lots of books. And actually, on Friday, February 5th, we're kicking off a reading challenge for all of the students. You'll be asked to read a certain type of book, fill out a lit log, and then whoever reads the most books by the end of May will win a prize. Dan Ben never backs down from the challenge. I don't read, so I can't. Thanks for watching another episode, and don't forget, Friday, February 5th, reading challenge starts. Be there, or don't be like me. Be like me. This has been Mad Vest Del Val. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this edition of DVTV. Make sure to tune in to our YouTube page every Friday for the latest episode of our show. I'm Connor Mills, signing off.